After completing this lesson, you should be able to recall how to surface a process in a site as a record type page, recall how to surface a process in a site as an action type page, and identify when to use these options. After you have a process model built, it's time to make it available to business users. While there are many ways to launch a process in Appian, for example, on a timer or from another process, most commonly processes are triggered by business users. In this lesson, you'll learn how to expose these types of processes to users using an application's site. There are two main approaches that you can use in your app. The first approach involves using a process model to create a record action, a record list action or related action, and then adding a record type page to your site. This method is used when you want your business users to work in the context of a record list. For example, in the Acme Automobile app, registrars need access to the whole inventory from where they can add a vehicle using the add vehicle record action or update the vehicle using the update vehicle related action. The second approach involves exposing a process model as a standalone action type page. This scenario works well when a user needs to initiate a new request, but doesn't need to take any further action on it. For example, an overnight receptionist at Acme Automobile may only need to initiate the addition of the vehicle to the fleet. If there's no need for a more global view of records, you can create a standalone action type page. Now that you understand when to use these options, let's quickly review the steps for both scenarios. In Appian, you can quickly generate record actions for three common use cases, adding a record, updating the record, and deleting the record. If you go this low code path, open the record type. In our example, the vehicle record type, select the record actions tab, and then use the generate a record action button to generate desired actions. Alternatively, if you need to go the manual route, click the button to configure actions manually. Provide the display name, for example, new vehicle, write a short description, and select the appropriate icon. Start typing the name of the process model, select the correct process model from the list of auto suggestions, and then click OK. You can create a related action, for example, update vehicle, by following similar steps. Type the display name, provide a description, and update the icon. The one key difference between a record list and a related action is the context. When a process starts as a related action, it needs the data from an existing record. To pass this data into the process, use an expression. For example, I'll open a previously created update vehicle process model. Note that Appian starts the context expression for me by identifying the process parameters. I previously created an expression rule that queries the database given a vehicle ID. I'll type rule bang followed by the name of the expression rule. This expression needs a vehicle ID, so I'll use the record variable RV bang identifier to pass this value. I'm almost done with this update vehicle related action, except for one tiny step. Before the update vehicle button appears on the vehicle summary page, I need to go to the views and headers tab and edit the summary view. Under Related Action Shortcuts, let's select the checkbox next to Update Vehicle. Finally, after you configure all record actions, the final step is to create the record type page for your application site. This page type will provide business users with access to the record list of a specific record type. Let's see how it's done. I'll open my Acme Automobile site object and click Add Page. I'll call this page Vehicles and select a more appropriate icon. Under Type, I'll select Record List 
to be able to add a record type as the content. Under Content, I'll find AS Vehicle. You can also use Visibility to configure who can see this page. But because the record list should be visible to everyone at Acme Automobile, I won't make any changes. Open the site, and now you can launch both processes from within the vehicle record type. The second main way to surface the process to business users by adding a process model as an action type page to a site can be configured even faster. I'll follow similar steps. Click Add Page, then configure the title and other details. This time, under Type, I'll select Action. Now, under Content, I can find the AS New Vehicle Process Model. Let's take a look at the site. Now, I have a new tab that kicks off the new vehicle process model using the Add Vehicle form. Keep in mind that for users to view the page and complete the form, they need the viewer privileges for both the site and the process model. Let's recap. Most frequently, processes are triggered by business users. There are two approaches for servicing these types of processes to users. Surface it from within a record type and surface it as a standalone action page. Select your approach based on your user's needs. When configuring a related action, use the context field to pass the values into the process model's parameters. Now that you know the basics, please complete the Appian step-by-step -step exercises that accompany this course. Also, to continue learning about process modeling with Appian, register for the Advanced Process Modeling Learning Path on Academy Online. Thank you for watching this course and happy learning. Thank you.